So hello everyone, welcome to Learn Python the hard way. In uh, this section we're going to focus on the setup. So how to install Python and also how to install a text editor in order to then start working on the various exercises. You can access the first couple of chapters of the Learn Python the hard way book for free by taking a look at the description below. There's a link included to this particular chapter here. Now in order to set up Python and also to, in, to install the uh, text editor we're going to use, uh, you're going to find some instructions here covering Mac OS but also Windows and also Linux. Since I'm using a Mac, I'm going to follow the Mac OS instructions. And first of all, we can download and install Python following this link here. Uh, you're going to get forwarded to Python 3.6, which is the version that the book is using. Um, here you can find some release notes, and if you scroll down, we can see the various files here. Now, depending on your operating system, you want to select the appropriate file here. So in my case, I'm going to select macOS and can click on the installer, and this is going to download the Python installer. And once it's downloaded, we can actually click on it to start the installation process. The other resource we need is a text editor. So here we can download Atom, for instance, which is one available option. If we click on that, we get forwarded to the Atom website. And here it automatically detects our operating system, macOS in my case, and we can then download Atom and follow the installation instructions. You have a couple of alternatives uh, listed here. So if you scroll down a bit, we see a list of alternative text editors. For example, Visual Studio Code, which I personally prefer and I'm going to use. Um, this is available for Windows, Mac and also for Linux. And you also have some other editor choices, for example, Notepad++. It's just important to take a look where it is available, so for which operating system, to make sure that you can actually use it. Now, independent on whether you're going to use Atom or, for example, Visual Studio Code, uh, once you've finished installing the text editor and, of, of course, also finished installing um, Python 3.6, then the first thing we can do is um, to actually take a look that we properly installed Python. And for that, we can open the terminal. So if you're using a Mac, you can press the command key and the spacebar. And this is going to use uh, open Spotlight, or in my case, Alfred here. And then we can search for terminal. Now in my case, I installed iTerm, which is an alternative terminal. So I'm going to select that instead. But alternatively, you would just type in terminal and confirm. Now this is going to open your terminal and here we can then check that we properly installed Python. So once opened, um, we can type in Python and then the version number, so in our case, Python 3.6. And if I press enter, then we can see here uh, the specific Python version that we installed and we are automatically forwarded here to the interactive environment where we can enter Python commands. For now, we can just type in quit and confirm, and then we are back to the standard terminal. Um, the difference is visible here. Here you have some arrows in front, and alternatively, you can see the regular prompt. Now from here, we can also create a new directory from which we can then in the future work on the various exercises. And in my case, I'm first of all going to type in CD to change the directory and to switch over to the root directory. Now, personally, I want to create a folder on my desktop. So I'm going to type in desktop and press enter. And now on my desktop, I can type in MKDIR, which stand for, stands for my make directory, followed by the name. And um, here, for example, we can use the command make directory and then lpthw for learn Python the hard way. This is going to create a new directory 
called LPTHW. And now I can type in CD, which stands for change directory, followed by the name of the directory and press enter. And now you can see my prompt changes here. So I'm now within the newly created directory. And at the moment, if you type in LS to display the files, uh, you can see it's empty. There are no files in there. Now we can simply open our text editor, for example, Atom um, or Visual Studio Code, which I installed here. And from here, we can simply select File, New File to create a new file, and then we can save it in that folder. Or alternatively, we can create that file or open it directly from the terminal. So here I'm going to type in code, which stands for Visual Studio Code. So the application we're going to use, followed by the name of the text file that we want to create, which is just a test file to see that it works properly. So here I'm going to type in code space test.txt and press enter. And this is going to create a new text file in Visual Studio Code. You can see here we opened test.txt and we can just enter some text in here and then simply save this. And now if we head back here to our terminal and type in ls, we can now see that the text file actually shows up and is displayed here. So these are the initial steps and then going forward we can create new directories for the various exercises. We're going to use the terminal and also the text editor here, for example, Atom or Visual Studio Code to basically open our files uh, and then create the various exercise files and work through them. So this is a basic setup. And again, if you're using Windows or Linux instead, you're going to find the appropriate instructions here. And going forward for the next exercises, um, in general, if there's anything unclear, uh, we can always, of course, Google, for example, if you're interested in taking a look at how Python lists work, how list functions work, um, it's generally recommended to take a look at, at Google simply to take a look at um, what we can find there. And there are a number of different resources that we can take a look, uh, take a look at. So that's it for, for this part. And then in the next video, we're going to take a look at the first exercise and actually start coding. So see you in the next video.